In addition to the other workouts, we also have standards of movement that we want you to be familiar with. Some of these movements may or may not be in the, uh, in the rest of the competition. We want you to be aware of these standards that may be included. The first of those movements is going to be handstand push-ups. So she's going to kick up into a handstand push-up. Her heels are on the wall. That's the beginning of the movement. She drops all the way down to her head. She's going to bring her knee down. Your heels have to end on the wall in full lockout for the rep to count. Give me another one. Give me that one. If your heels come off of the wall before full lockout, and she walked out and then came down, that counts. If you don't walk out before your feet come off, that doesn't count. So one of those movements is a handstand push-up. Another one is going to be a power snatch. Starting from the ground, getting that bar fully overhead does not have to pass through. Squat is okay. If you don't use full lockout, bring the bar back down. That does not. Okay? So full lockout in the standing position. It can pass through squat, but it does not have to. A third movement is going to be pistols. We're going to get through full depth on each side, all the way down, all the way up, opening the hip completely. So she alternated legs. We want to make sure the hip passes below parallel, and that the hip is fully open before she puts that other foot down. If you lose your balance when you come back up. If you put your foot down before the hip is open, it does not count. If you kind of hop around and catch your balance and then put the foot down, as long as the hip is open, before you put your foot down, you're okay. You will not need to alternate on pistols if that movement comes up. You can't do multiple on a leg for total reps. Another movement we're going to cover is dumbbell ground to overhead. It has to touch the ground on each rep. She's going to get it fully locked out overhead, touch the ground, and overhead. Full lockout position, fully overhead. She is also going to do an over up here where it's off to the side. If that movement is off to the side, that is a no rep. It has to be over your center of gravity to count. Okay? Again, it has to touch the ground on each rep. You will not have to alternate hands if this movement comes up in a workout. You can do multiple on each arm without having to alternate from one to one. Our last movement we're going to cover is going to be a wheelbarrow walk, a partner wheelbarrow walk. Holding the heels of the person in front of you, you're going to walk down. You have to, I'm sorry, holding the ankles, not the heels. Turn and come back. So she's holding the ankles just above the shoe. Your pinky has to be in contact with their shoe while you're walking. And your hands are the only thing of the other person that can touch the ground. If you drop down to the elbow, you have to stop progressing and come back up to your hands. Those movements may or may not come up in the competition, but we want you to be, to be familiar with those standards. As always, plan on being early and registered for a sharp start at 8 o'clock. We will start on time, be prepared, be ready, be on time and early.